Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you the Do Nothing Grinder. It's a machine that seemingly does nothing. And I'll be using this to talk about why in physics does it take energy to seemingly do no work. And I'd like to thank The Great Courses Plus for sponsoring this video. I'll tell you a little bit more about them later. This is the Trammel of Archimedes, or commonly called the Do Nothing Grinder, or the Do Nothing Machine. What's interesting about this is you'll see that I'm kind of tracing out an ellipse with my finger here, but the two pegs here are moving in straight lines back and forth, and they can't hit each other. You're actually not limited to only two pegs, you can actually have as many as you want and it will still work. You can have one with two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, as many as you want. So how does this work? How are these pegs able to move in straight lines here as I go around in a circle outside of it? So if you take two circles, one that's half the diameter of the other circle and put the smaller circle in the bigger one and then roll it around in a circle, any point on the circumference of the smaller circle will make a straight line that's the diameter of the bigger circle. And what that means is that you can actually choose any point on the circumference of the smaller circle. In this case, we've chosen two points on the circumference of the smaller circle that move back and forth the diameter of the larger circle, but you can have as many points as you want. Now, when this device was created, it was actually used to draw ellipses, but for some reason today, it's called the do nothing grinder probably because we can make ellipses pretty easily now with computers, but we still have this ancient machine that is cool to play with, but doesn't seem like it does anything. But what's interesting about this is it's called the do nothing grinder, and it's not achieving anything or doing anything really, but you'll notice that I am putting in energy to it. So why isn't it doing anything useful? So basically all the energy that I'm inputting into this is being converted to heat. For example, if I set this weight on the table, there's no work being done on the weight because the weight is just staying in place. And in order to do work in physics, you have to push it against a force a certain distance. And so there's no distance being traveled and so there's no work being done on the weight. The same thing applies if I just hold the weight out like this. It's not moving up or down against gravity and so there's no distance being moved and so there's no work being done on it but for some reason it's still hard to do. I have to expend energy in order to just hold it in place. So I'm not doing any work on it, but it takes energy. Why is that? So why in some cases do you have to input energy to do nothing, but in other cases you don't have to input energy to do nothing? That's the question. Well, the answer has to do with how our body works. So in your muscle fiber, in order to move, your myosin that's in your muscles has to move up the actin. It inches its way up and cinches your muscles together so you can actually move them up. But what's really interesting is that your muscles weren't really meant to be held in place because it seems logical that once your muscles have bound in place, for example, once your actin has bound to the myosin, it should just stay there. It's a chemical reaction. It should just stay right there. And interestingly enough, it does stay there naturally. For example, when you die, your muscles get locked in place. But when you're alive, your body keeps producing ATP, and when ATP comes in, it naturally releases that bond so that you can continue the movement of your muscles. And so when you're alive, your muscles always want to be moving. And if they're not moving, your body's just going to keep trying to release that actin, and it's going to just take up energy and bind again, take up energy and bind again. And so you're just going to waste a ton of energy and turn it into heat. So that's the reason why holding a weight in place like this with our body takes energy. It takes energy because we're still alive. If we were dead, we'd be locked in place with rigor mortis and it wouldn't take any work or energy. We'd just be able to hold the weight in place like this. It's comparable to driving a car on a hill. A car is meant to be moving. And so if you're on a hill like this and you're not in park, if you continually rev the engine, you can stay in place without rolling backwards. But interestingly enough, it's taking a lot of energy to do that, but no physical work is being done on the car because you're not moving it. But if you just put it in park, then you could park it and it wouldn't take any energy anymore. So remember, even if you're not doing any work, but you're putting in energy, that's something. It's not nothing. So there's no such thing as a nothing machine. It's something. I'd like to thank The Great Courses Plus for sponsoring this video. The Great Courses Plus is an amazing subscription on-demand video learning service. It has top-notch lectures and courses from the top professors from Ivy Leagues and other universities globally. 
and you can stream these courses on your phone, your TV, your laptop, your tablet, anything you want. I spent a lot of time researching different topics for my videos, and one of my main goals for 2021 has been to broaden my scope of understanding of different subjects. The Great Courses Plus has really aided me in those topic discoveries. For example, one course that I'm really enjoying right now is actually a lecture series by the MD Barry Fox. And in this series, there's 24 lectures on infectious disease. So it gives you a really good understanding of how diseases work, different types of viruses, how they infect your body, how they hide out in your body. The Great Courses Plus is an amazing platform that lets you grow your expertise in any field that you want. No matter what you currently know, I guarantee there's a course on The Great Courses Plus that can help you grow and learn more about some subject. Now The Great Courses Plus is currently offering a free trial for those who are viewers of The Action Lab. So head over to thegreatcoursesplus.com slash The Action Lab to start your free trial today. And thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And check out theactionlab.com if you haven't seen the Action Lab experiment boxes and the experiment book as well. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.